Yo, welcome to the day. Hello everyone. Hello Chris. What up? How you doing? Doing good. It's 1.15ish. Plan for today. Already been doing some computer work this morning. Feels good. I'm down to about 11 things on that list from yesterday, which is sweet. I think I'll get them all done today. Uh, we're gonna go on a walk right now, check out some of, the, some of the areas, get a bit of a sweat going on. It's not that hot out today, it's 18 degrees. Then we're gonna stream some poker and we're gonna study some poker. Probably gonna make another stir fry. Just cause you know, cooking with Jamie went so well yesterday. Someone was asking a question about uh, meditation in the comments. It is through Poker Mind Coach. There's a link in the description under poker training. It's like a poker specific mindset site. So I'm going through their meditation. If you're not a poker player, which a decent amount of you aren't poker players, go for anything. But if you're into poker specifically, I, I think it's a pretty good spot. So that's what I use. Okay, let's go for a walk. degrees, man. We're talking Canada, that's like some solid May weather. This way. Oh, this is a tough play. And then, we look left. Made it to Butte Park, man. My whole life has been leading to this moment. I think we're... Oh my god, what is this? Card holders only beyond this point. Oh, vehicles though. Don't Shit. worry. Damn. We're not a vehicle, Jamie. Sure. Confirmed, you're not a vehicle. Wholesome moments. Couple snaps for the gram. One day, if you work hard, you too can own a home like this. It's not a home. Yeah, it's not a home. It's too nice to be a home. Also just too big. Too big and nice. Do you remember the land before time? The dinosaur movie, yeah. yeah. Those leaves right there are definitely from the land before time. This place is magical. Someone is practicing. I think we're on a university campus. There's some dragon leaves. Dinosaur leaves, not dragon leaves. It's a nice tree. Just wholesome moments, Chris. I like this place. It's very green. That is definitely a cool tree. I mean, how, like, how? How ridiculous does it get? Let's let's take stock for a second. There's an old tree over a slow moving brook. Someone's practicing in their dorms that are taken over by vines in the background. Like, okay, Hollywood, too much. Okay, let's make it more believable, please. Too much. Thank you. No, no. I just posted on Instagram this kale trend is good and ridiculous. We can get in any further over here. We might have to swim through the moat. <laughs> you don't throw out your castle words on us. Hey man, <laughs> how old is this castle? Someone in the comments, let us know. Look at the Welsh flag. Jamie. Jamie, I don't think you knock. No? What's the door knocker for then? <laughs> I don't think they're opening, dude. <laughs> Look how old these things are. These are weird. The bridge you were standing on by you, we mean us, which was reconstructed into the fourth Marquess of Butte by J.P. Grant in 1921. The original Westgate formed part of Cardiff's medieval fortifications built in the 12th and 13th centuries. The road leading to the gate formed the main approach to the west into Cardiff town and several industries built up along it. The gate was dismantled around 1800 with just a single pier standing throughout the 19th century. After a new bridge over the Taff opened in 1796, the west gate was rendered obsolete and properties along the approach and road fell into despair. Yeah. Cool. Castle? This, this Castle. gate is useless. This gate is now useless. It's not been used because there's other gates now. It's an old gate. 
Still a cool bridge though. It is nice. Wish they would open the door, but it's fine. We've reached the furthest point because Coldplay is here tonight. And we're not going to Coldplay. That's it. So we're gonna go through the old town and then back home. Kind of nice not having an umbrella. I'm rolling it. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's great. It's just like a nice little mist. Yeah. We need to go like this way, ish. Kind of like, almost even a little bit that way. Okay. We're going home. We gotta play poker. You know what I'm saying now? Da -na -na, da -da -da -na -na. This is the one that I use in my head. I'm gonna get run over. Oh, I know this song. What is inside my head? Uh oh, dings. What do we do? <sighs> Looks like you sweat a lot. I didn't sweat that much. Ooh, I'm dizzy. I'm so ready to get rid of these tight glasses, dude. I'm tired of feeling old. I want to feel youthful. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. I didn't. I'm so ready. Okay. All right, so this is my fourth attempt at making a smoothie in this house. I've been able to drink one so far. So if this one breaks, I might break. We have some squirt juice, which is an NA specialty. But the good news is that we have some artificial flavoring, which makes this less of a kale salad and more of a fake candy. Locked. You guessed it, smoothie. Squirt juice changes the game. It's so good, so much better. It's a superfood. Smoothies are a superfood, Chris. And check social media and shower and then hopefully start streaming by like 4.15. Just look outside in a wet clothes. So, good skills, good skills, Jamie. You have great skills. This is just a very lazy way of cooking chicken. Cooking with James, episode two. Laying the raw chicken in the pan. Cooking this fast and not smartly. <laughs> this is gonna burn the chicken. If I was a full-time vlogger, I'd cook every day. I'm telling you right now, it'd be a segment in my vlog. I would do like a full out, let's cook a nice meal. Every day. But here's the thing. Me cooking right now means me not play poker. Me not study poker. Me no cook. You know what I mean? Me no say full sentences? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Bon appetit. Can I help that So today, it's gonna be a two pronged attack. One hour of reviewing what I'm actually doing while playing. So going over yesterday's hands, the hands I marked, looking at specific situations, like feel like my small blind is weak. Let's check out all the hands where it folds to me in the small blind. Right, and make sure that I'm playing them correctly. So one hour of going over yesterday's hands, which is hard to do while you're eating chicken, and then one hour of learning something new. So I'm gonna be watching a video. Um, again, I'm doing the uh, tournament masterclass on Raise Your Edge. If there's any poker players out there that are looking to make a significant investment in their game to get better, there's a link down below in the description, pokerstaples.com slash training. You can get $200 off the master course. That's what my studying is gonna be. Hour of that, hour of yesterday's hands, and we're gonna fire up the stream. You guys are gonna go to the gym? We're gonna hit the gym. What uh? What's the day today? Shoulders. We missed shoulders, shoulders yesterday. I remember. Yeah. Make sure to get at least one video clip of Matt getting his pump on. Okay. okay. We'll be back.
What's up everyone? It is the next morning, uh, kind of an abrupt end to yesterday's vlog. Wanted to do a little bit of a monologue at the end, end of this vlog. I didn't have a very productive day yesterday and I felt as if, you know, a different period, a different stage of my life was seeping in. Uh, some of you that have been following me for quite a while may have remembered a, a bit of a lack of motivation, being a bit down on myself last summer. And I sort of felt that during the day. Now what's good about this is that I have more experience this year as just a person and a human being and, and I sort of recognize what the problem was last year in having those feelings of, of not having a ton of direction. I think it's time to, to reevaluate my goals and get really specific on them. So I wanted to let you guys in on that process. I read a book called The 10X Rule. I prefaced by saying that I don't love everything in the book, I don't agree with everything in the book. The main premise was set your goals where you actually want to achieve them. Don't set goals that people expect you to be able to obtain or are realistic. Set the goals that you actually want. So I did that in October and I kind of got my fire back and my work ethic and my drive. Whenever I feel it slip now for the rest of my life, I think it's time to go back to that, reevaluate where we're at and where we want to go and then how we're going to get there. Three pillars of what is important to me right now. They're not very specific. It's not coming up with specific actionable goals. That's maybe something I can talk about in tomorrow's vlog and get more specific on it if you guys are interested in that process. I'll put it in there. If you're not and you're just here for the ultimate sweater or whatever, you can totally skip over this, right? This is just, just to anyone that's curious about it. So the three pillars for me, become the biggest poker ambassador in the world is the stretch goal. That's, that's what I want. Poker's an interesting one because again, as I talked about in the vlog the other day, it's like there isn't really a good metric for determining success. To me, a reliable, like, oh, this is the number one player in the world now, sort of ranking system. I mean, there there is a ranking system for tournaments, but a lot of that can come down to just how much you play, which isn't the best. So for me, that's not how I want to evaluate my performance as a, as a poker player. You know, chasing the most amount of money, I think there's a lot of ways that you could get a lot of money. That's not really an interesting storyline to me, but contributing to the game, is. And I think becoming the biggest poker ambassador in the world means a couple things. One, it means you need to have the best content. So you need to get your word out there to people that poker exists, you exist, and have the most impact you can to, to grow it that way. You also need to be really good at poker, right? And, and this will come down in the, the actionable part of this. It's clear to probably most of you and me, some of you maybe not, that I'm like, let's say I'm a nationwide tour player that has a PGA Tour sponsorship and viewership in the poker world. Um, so I've done really well at obtaining those things, you know, and, and some notoriety, but like I'm aware that I am a B-list professional for sure, and becoming A-list will bring me more notoriety close to my goal. So that's that's my first goal, uh, become the biggest poker ambassador in the world. I need to come up with some actionable plans to do that. The second is uh, become a fit and attractive person. So this goal should be pretty clear. I mean, win the ultimate sweat is part one. Um, and then part two is work health into my day-to-day -day life, make more of an effort when it comes to dressing well and just taking care of myself in general. You know, this isn't a goal, by the way, where like I'm I'm striking myself down. You know, I, I think I'm fine, I'm happy with who I am as a person, but you know, it's just something I want to do. It's just a goal, it's something I want. It's not coming from a place of, of insecurity, it's coming from a place of, I just want to improve myself for the sake of improving myself. The health and the vanity will be able to be honed in at the bet. The bet is a really nice way to really get those going quickly, earn some money along the way, and then start us off after the bet from a point where it's gonna be really easy to fill out and, and bulk up a little bit with muscles, it's going to be easy to get really healthy and be on like a super healthy, sustainable diet because we're gonna be at quite a low weight. That's goal number two, become a fit and attractive person. Goal number three is secure financial freedom. And what that means for me and what that means for other people is gonna be different. That's something I can talk about in tomorrow's vlog. So anyways, those are the three pillars. That's kind of what I want in my life, at least at this stage. Become the biggest poker ambassador in the world, become a fit and attractive person and secure financial freedom. I'm going to stop this vlog and then I'm going to restart it in tomorrow's vlog and I'm going to talk a little bit about the actionable steps to make that happen. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. If you didn't, I'm sorry. You can just skip that segment. It's only going to be a two-day thing. 
Ultimate Sweat continues tomorrow. I just did a weigh-in. I'll let you guys know on tomorrow's vlog. Um, but until then, see you guys later.